good morning children how are you i welcome you to my second session that's my good chapter is over this is the post reading page i like to test your vocabulary and usage all right i think you all have gone through this chapter and understood the questions answer you have written in your copies okay now let me start about the vocabulary dive you have got the word dive in this chapter you have to make it as make sentences as noun and verb use dive as noun and use dive as verb what is noun my dear children all naming words are called noun and verb is simple action word it is an action word so let me make a sentence using dive as noun and using dive as verb her dive her dive is wonderful you have seen the butterfly competition in world www that sports you have seen how the participants have made dives into the water it is very interesting okay her dive is wonderful okay it relates to a person's work now she dives into the water here it is used as verb dives into the water she dives into the water here dive is verb here dive is as noun now stay can you make a sentence using stay as a noun and stay as a verb you are staying at your home because of covid 19 not coming to school am i right so you are stay at home because of covid 19 pandemic you are stay at home because of covid 19 pandemic is creating problem for us now put us in trouble because you are getting troubles in your study now it is very hard for you you are struggling with your study am i right you are fighting how to read yourself how to prepare your notes yourself not getting the support of the teachers directly some of you have not got the online facilities also so they are struggling with their study work so you are stay at home because of covid 19 has put us in trouble okay am i right here stay it use dajes verb now he stayed he stayed in his uncle's house for 14 days as she is staying with her she has been staying simply like she has been staying with her parents it is that verb stay with her parents staying with her parents and she stays with her parents she stayed with her uncle's house for 14 days now school is no more so she has gone to her uncle's house she is staying with her aunt or staying with her uncle you can say now it is as verb but can you make it as night now you stay people stay people you all are students of people you know the word pupils which means students you all children pupils stay at put an apostrophe s here stay at home because of covid 19 because of covid 19 pandemic you know what is pandemic mahamari you call it in korea covid 19 pandemic now your people stay at home covid 19 pandemic is what it's full of struggles because they are struggling with their study work now is a trouble for us is a trouble 
for us. Am I right? This is a very big sentence. You can make it shorter also. People stay at home because of COVID-19 pandemic. Haj put us in trouble. Am I right? Haj put us. Us means me the teachers in trouble. You can make your own sentence. Okay, you can make your own sentence. Am I right? Or you say, Siddharth stayed long at home. No, his employers didn't like Siddharth's long stay at home. We don't like your long stay at home. We the teachers don't like people's long stay at home. Okay? Alright? Like this guard, you can map. He guards at the gate of the office. Who? The watchman guards. Who guards at near the office gate? The watchman guards. The watchman guards, like this you can take guard, G-U-A-R-D, the watchman, the watchman guards the office, guards the office at the gate, like the new guard, if you make it as a verb, now it is as a verb. Okay, like this, you can make it as noun. As a noun, you can write as noun. The guard, the new guard is dutiful. The new guard is very dutiful. It's dutiful. He loves his duty a lot coming to his office regularly. So, very beautiful. Like this, can you make like scratch, travel and touch? The cat scratched. The cat scratched Smita's face. It is as a verb. It is as a verb. But can you tell me when I say sentence, whether it is noun or verb? Her mother didn't like the scratches. It is as noun. Because I have already told you naming words are nouns. And any action, any work, if any word says, it is verb. So you can also identify which one is used as noun, which one is used as verb. Like this travel, Priya travels a lot. It is as a verb. No, here travels used as a verb. But her regular travel, her frequent travels, her frequent travels spoil her health. Now, deteriorate her health. Means her health condition has been degraded due to frequent travels, regular travels. If a person comes regularly by bus, covering a long distance, what will happen to her health? Her health will be in like this touch. Rasmi touch the touch me nut plant. Touch me nut plant, you have seen the plant, when you touch, it closes, the leaves are closed. This is called touch me not plant. Lazakuri lata. If you touch it, what will happen? It closes. The leaves get closed. Touch it. Now, soft touch. Whose soft touch? Mother's soft touch. Has made the crying child laugh. Okay. When your mother touches, how? what type of touch it is? It is very soft touch. So, mother's soft touch. Now, mother's soft touch has made the crying child laugh or smile. Okay? Am I right? So like this, you can use so many words as noun and as verb. If you practice at home, then you will be perfect. Come to the useless verb. I have already discussed it in my first session. A common sight in many parts of Africa, mongooses travel in groups of 20 looking for food. Here, look for, search for. Can you make a sentence using look for? Hmm? She is looking for a job. Now, the girl, or you can say the young girl, 25 years old girl, is looking for her male partner. You can say, looking for, or you are looking for your last pencil, last book, anything else, what you have last in your school or at your home. Okay, 
Now while overturning rats, they look amusing. Amusing word. I have already used many sentences. I have told you to write. It is very pleasurable. Now very interesting, funny. Very what? Funny or what is very pleasurable. That thing you can say amusing. Let me recall you. When two snacks dance together. Snack dance. Have you enjoyed it? It is very amusing. Now. The two snacks, when they dance together, it is very amusing to watch. Now, like this, the fight between the snake and the mongoose, it is also very amusing. So, this is all about your usage work and vocabulary. Now, come to the writing part. What are mongooses famous for? You have already known it. Let me ask you just, you rewrite the answers in your copy and practice by what is special about the killing snakes? This, I discussed it yesterday. Okay. Where do mangoojas live? You know, mangoojas live in there. You know it. Now, mental talk. Mangoojas have unity. They hunt together. How do you come to know that mangoojas have unity? Because mangoojas, whenever go outside, they go in a group. So, whatever work they do, they do it unitedly. Like this. India. Here, unity is our strength. Now, united we stand and divided we fall. So, Indians have unity. Mm -hmm. Yes, what other activities do the mangoojas do? You have to think about it and list out in your copy. Now, can you make a project on desert animals? Collect information with pictures about them from different sources. Let me tell you what I mean by desert. Desert, you know, a place that is full of sand. Desert, a place that is full of sand. Desert, full of sand. A place that is full of sand. Place that is full of sand. It's desert. No. And it also receives less than 25 cm rainfall annually. Less than 25 cm rainfall annually. It is called a desert. Okay. Now can you tell me which animals are living in desert? Have you seen camel? No. It is called the sheep of desert. Am I right? Why is it sheep? Because for transportation or communication. Am I right? So, riding on the camels, they travel on the sand. And you know, camel lives without drinking water or eating food for many days. As many as 15 days. 3 weeks or more than that. Also 2 weeks, 2-3 two, 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 three weeks, they never take any food and butter and they can survive. That is why it is called the sheep of the desert now. It is the only way to travel and this sounds so you have to think about it and make a present and show me in the next class. This is all about the chapter Bangoj.